Hi, my name is Peter Lindemann and I'm with Tesla Chargers. Today we're going to be talking about the 1AU. The 1AU is our 1-amp universal charger and it's the only charger in the world that will charge batteries with voltages as low as 1.5 volts all the way up to batteries that have 24 volts. And what this is good for, it's just a 1-amp charger so it's not going to charge car batteries or, or golf car batteries or anything else. But it's really good for these types of tool batteries that have uh, various voltages, 12 volts, 18 volts, 24 volts, these types of things. This is a, uh, a NICAD, I think. And um, so uh, what I want to do is go through the features of the, of the charger and then give you a demonstration of, of uh, its uh, operations and how it charges. So if we bring the camera around the back, or first up to the front here, we can see a couple of things. One, the charger is, is um, turned on. So let me just turn it off on the back here. And it's, the, the light will go out, OK? And so it has, it has a, um, a legend here that shows the various settings. These settings are for this dial here. And it shows the, the various voltages that you can get out of it. But um, um, the, the indicator light can be uh, in four modes. It can be a solid red, it can be a flashing red, it can be a solid green or a flashing green. And each one of those means different things. And then, of course, the dial to, do, to uh, choose um, the level of charge that you're going to ask the um, unit to produce. Uh, it comes with a, uh, an owner's manual. And, uh, and now if we bring the camera around the back. And real quick, what are the three different batteries that this will charge? Okay, this will charge lead acid type of batteries, nickel cadmium type of batteries, and nickel metal hydride type of batteries. And it will not be used, it should not be used on lithium ion batteries at any time. So in the back here, we, we see that uh, it has the, the universal plug um, that um, can be from any cord, uh, uh, but the unit, the unit must be specified whether it runs on 120 or 240 when it's purchased. This is the uh, on-off button here. This is the fuse that might blow if uh, something terrible happens. And this red button is what's called the jump start button in case um, the battery is low and the unit doesn't recognize that there's a battery connected. So we'll go over the, these features um, right now. So what I have here to show you, uh, it's the basic operations. I have an external voltmeter here so we can see what's going on. I have the charger, which comes with uh, alligator clips uh, uh, for its connections, but it also comes with two um, small magnets so that if you uh, uh, only have a flat surface to connect it to, you can uh, connect the, uh, the magnet to, to there, and then it will stick to um, a steel um, a terminal if you uh, have that opportunity. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the unit on, for starters. Okay, And when I turn it on, you can see that the red light is flashing, which basically means error or no battery. You can see the flashing light says error or no battery. Okay, And so the, the unit is now on. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this battery um, um, incorrectly. And um, so I, you can see that uh, it still doesn't think there's a battery there. OK, in other words, error or no battery. And um, now I'm going to hook it up correctly. I'm going to so you don't have to worry about damaging your charger by accidentally Correct. reversing the wires. Correct. And so it instantly, as soon as it's hooked, it, as soon as the battery charger recognizes that there's a battery there in the right configuration, the, 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 the red light goes from flashing to solid, means, and that means it's charging. So, so what we can do is we can uh, uh, just add a little uh, voltmeter here. I'm going to just connect. Excuse me, I'm just going to stand up here. Add a voltmeter to this situation. So we can monitor what's going on.
Okay, so I've got the voltmeter connected now, and so we can see that the volt the voltmeter is uh, approaching, and you can see it's slowly going up. Okay, now this is an 18 volt battery, and I have it on setting number five right now. Okay, which means I'm not trying to charge it very fast at all. Okay, so. Um, normally, for an 18 volt battery, um, I could pro I could have it as high as the number seven setting. You see it where it says 18 volt tool battery here, okay? And I have it on number five right now, and it's still putting a little bit on top of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the. Um, we've got a truck going by here, but because um, we're in a shop, but I'm going to I'm going to uh, put it on setting number six, and now we can see that it. It's um, it, it, the readings jumped a little bit, and it's still charging. Okay, and I can actually put it all the way up to setting seven. And if, if as soon as I do that, you may see this jump quite a bit. Okay, so um, but that's as high as I would take it for an 18 volt battery, like it says on the legend. So being that this is a NICAD, they go to the NICAD column, which is yellow. Right follow it all the way down to 18 volt tool battery right. and they know what number to set this at. Right. So at least you can set it at less than this, but you don't want to set it for more than this. Okay. Um, so for instance, if you're rejuvenating things and you want to charge it slower, um, you can use a lower setting. Um, so you can see that this is charging. Uh, we're at about 19.6 uh, now. Okay. So, um, um, what we can do is, um, I, I want to show you a number of other uh, safety features uh, of, of the charger. So you can basically see that um, this will um, uh, charge this battery, uh, and it, it just keeps charging. Okay, so, and it will charge it up to um, its, its natural maximum. In other words, it will allow the voltage to rise to uh, where it doesn't want to rise anymore for um, this amount, but it's way higher than the, the charger. It's probably at least a volt or two above where the charger that it came from, came with, will take it. And that helps to um, finish off the chemistry and, and get a, a, a longer life out of the battery. What I want to show you at this point is a number of safety features from the, of the battery charger. Okay. So we showed you that it won't um, uh, start. So now, again, we're disconnected, and uh, the red light is flashing. So let's say the, um, something happens, and the charger uh, is completely short-circuited like this. Now, this is not recommended, but as you can see, the charger will not start. It will not try to, to charge anything with the terminals shorted. And it will, again, it will not try to charge if the terminals are, are set up incorrectly. Okay? So in other words, if it doesn't recognize um, that there's a battery there, so you can see that the error message here, which is two flashes and then a missing flash. So, um, uh, basically, the, the charger has built-in protection. It isn't a power supply. Unlike most battery chargers where you could actually run a light bulb from it, um, this is only a battery charger. It is not a power supply. And it is designed to only start charging the battery once it recognizes that it's connected to a good battery or a battery that is capable of charging. Now, the red button in the back, Sometimes you have a battery that's, that's lower uh, in voltage than the, the circuitry here is designed to determine. And uh, what you can do is, after you know that you've got everything hooked up correctly, you can push the red button once, and what that will do is it will send a surge of power into the battery and give it enough to, so that the uh, charger recognizes that there is a battery there and then it will start the charge process. Another way that you can do it if a battery is particularly low is you can put two batteries in parallel and start the, the charger on, uh, on the system because of the voltage available from the good battery 
and then once it starts charging, you can take the good battery out of the system and it will continue to charge the weaker battery. So those are the two ways you can kind of jump start a battery if the unit um, doesn't recognize that it's there. So um, that's the uh, 1AU. Um, it is, again, the only charger in the world that will charge uh, batteries as small as one and a half volts and, and batteries all the way up to 24 volts and it's particularly good as I said before for these um, various charge um, voltages of tool batteries and things like that. Um, there's a lot of tool batteries out there in the 12 volt 14.4, 16, 18, 21 up to 24 volt uh, batteries and um, in the chemistries of um, lead acid, nickel cadmium, and uh, nickel metal hydride. Now one of the things um, that you may notice as you charge with these chargers is that the voltage will rise to a higher level, uh, but there's nothing really, it, these, these chargers aren't a magic wand, they're not going to just heal the battery uh, from years of um, uh, chronic undercharging. So what you may need to do to get the battery to fully recover is to charge it and discharge it a number of times. So you can charge it um, uh, with uh, the 1AU and what you can do is you can monitor the voltage here on, on an external meter and when the, when the voltage really just stops rising then you can be pre pretty much assured that that's about as far as it's going to go on that charge. And then you can put the battery in, in your tool and uh, either run it all the way down or just use it regularly and so on. Whichever, if you want to um, bring the battery to a higher level of capacity sooner, then you can just, you know, click on the, uh, uh, the, the drill um, and, and run it down for 20 minutes or something like that and then put it back on the charger and do a number of cycles quickly. Um, but what you'll, what you'll find is, is that as you charge and discharge and charge and discharge the battery, um, it should be able to, to, to rise to um, higher voltages and, uh, in each consecutive charge. And what that's demonstrating is that the battery is being rejuvenated. These processes have been completely uh, described in a number of products that are available from teslachargers.com. There's a sequence of advertisements on the uh, right column of that uh, um, website, and it's called Battery Secrets. And there's a, um, there are two products talked about there. One's called Battery Secrets and one's called Battery Rejuvenation. And both of these um, presentations describe exactly how batteries work, and you might be surprised that you don't know this material because we use batteries every day, but uh, most people do not understand really how batteries work and what they do and how to make them last um, a very, very, very long time. Everybody just thinks, well, I buy a battery, it works for until it stops working, and then I have to get a different battery. And uh, what these products talk about is um, what you're doing, what we've all been taught to do, it's actually hurting the battery and ruining its um, long life. So if you um, want to understand how to make your batteries last longer, if you want to uh, even possibly even start a home business about uh, making these batteries, your batteries and everybody else's batteries run longer, then uh, take a look at battery secrets and battery rejuvenation products um, and they're available uh, following the link on Tesla Chargers website. So that's the 1AU and I'm Peter Lindemann and this is Tesla Chargers.